If someone thinks they have CTE, well, oftentimes they're thinking that because of a lot of um, inaccuracies out there in the news and misperceptions and people think that, oh, I've, I've got it because I've had a concussion or I'm depressed and I played high school football. People have to realize that not everyone who's hit their head a lot of times has this brain disease. But if someone really is having a whole lot of difficulties and they have a big history of repetitive hits to the head, then it's important for them to go to a doctor, make sure that things that can be reversed are reversed, separate from CT. A lot of different possible things can be going on that can affect the brain that can be fixed. Hypothyroidism, vitamin deficiencies like vitamin B12 deficiency, even just regular old depression, psychiatric depression is so incredibly common and so important. It is a brain disorder, but it's not a progressive destruction of the brain. Those things, if they're detected and treated, will hopefully get the person better. But if the symptoms still exist or they're more worrisome, then going to the right kind of specialist would be very important to um, try to really understand what's going on. Someone who understands these diseases of the brain that um, are progressive and lead to a variety of difficulties, someone who has done their homework. But the key is to not jump to the conclusion that you've got this incurable brain disease and everything's going to just fall apart. The most important thing, though, that someone can do, whether they're given a diagnosis or not, whether they think they have it or not, whether they have some symptoms or not, the most important thing someone can do is to take control of the parts of their body that they can control. And in this case, to be able to protect the brain, there are some things that we think can work. Not completely. They're not going to get rid of an underlying disease, but they might be able to help a little bit. Things like the appropriate diet. We know from a bunch of research now that a Mediterranean type of diet seems to have the most effect of slowing down any brain disease or keeping our brain healthy. The Mediterranean diet is um, things like eating lots of fruit and vegetables, legumes like nuts and beans. But most importantly, a lot of the um, good fats, the omega-3 fatty acids that can be found in fish like salmon, but also olives and especially olive oil, and then reducing the amount of red meat. All of that is the Mediterranean diet, and it seems to have this incredible protective effect on the brain. Another thing people can do is um, to exercise routinely, aerobic exercise, getting their heart pumping three, five times a week, 20, 30 minutes, keeping active like that, whatever it is to get that heart pumping, taking a nice walk that's brisk enough, doing that on a regular basis seems to be incredibly helpful for the brain. Keeping yourself intellectually stimulated, engaged in new types of activities, taking up new hobbies or new, um, new ways of doing things, and staying social, keeping yourself socially engaged in some way or another. But also doing things that are going to help heart disease. Because what we know now is that if you can do things to protect from heart problems, you're doing things to protect from 
brain problems. All of the brain diseases like PSP, CBD and MSA and CTE. If we can do things to keep the blood vessels in our brains healthy, then it might slow down the progression of these diseases. And so keeping diabetes in check, either preventing diabetes from happening or making sure that your blood sugar is in control. Doing things like making sure that your blood pressure is okay. Taking blood pressure medication if the doctor says you should. All those things that we need to do to keep our heart healthy is the same as what we need to do to keep our brain healthy. 